Was it like that scene in my Big Fat Greek Wedding when he says I have three balls? No, I, I don't know what he said. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe he said I like Bush or something, so... <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was funny. He came back terrifying. He said, I don't know what I did. Yeah. Well, that sucks for him. What can I do? It's over. He lost it. He probably won it back. But whatever. When he got up in the morning, was he like, oh shit? Yeah. He cried. He actually, really? He kind of kind of cried because he lost he lost eight hundred dollars. I mean, I'd kind of cry too. I, I would cry. Thank you. How do you say thank you in Greek? Ευχαριστώ, ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ μου ανάρι μου. I would try to Ευχ... repeat that, say. but I don't know. Ευχαριστώ. I'm no, I'm no, worried. No, come on, you have to. I spoke. Okay, you okay, 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 okay. Ευχαριστώ. Ευχαριστώ. Uh huh. Manari mu. Manari mu. No. Okay, I got it. I got it. Keep your friend out of the casino. There you go. There you go. We'll try. We'll try. We'll probably go after this semester. It don't matter. Whatever. We're trying to have fun. Well, then cut up his ATM card at least. <laughs> we'll try. I'll try at least. Maybe. Turns out it's contagious. <laughs> um. Campus confessionals. <laughs> so Eric was one of the first ones on my show, the first time, and he tried to take over. I like grabbed my microphone, which is like my biggest pet peeve ever. I don't really want to tell it. It's my show. People can't know dirt about me. I have the microphone. Oh, so you're the host now? Obviously. Uh, what, what are you doing? Can I take the mic, please? No. <laughs> Come on, you know that's like my biggest pet peeve ever when people <laughs> grab the microphone from me. <laughs> so last year I was trying to park. Um, well, this actually happened um, a couple of years ago. All right, get this. This is a really interesting story, and I'm going to take my time by telling it. So he did it the very first time. That's when the peeves started. So anyway, so tell me something embarrassing that's happened to you recently. Well, um... All right, so tell me about this uh, throwing up thing. Um, I was kind of wasted, and... Kind of? I, yeah, I was like running around Presidents Park. I was in the volleyball court for a while. I don't know what I was doing. And then eventually I got back to my room and I ended up throwing up all over my roommate's chair. I have night terrors. Um, mm -hmm. I wake my roommates up late at, late at night with my screaming. Um, and uh, yeah. And like somebody else cleaned it up apparently, like some other people in the room. And I didn't tell them about it until a year later, like after we weren't living together anymore. <laughs> So, someone else cleaned up your puke? Yeah. <laughs> I cleaned up his puke. That's how caring I am. What yeah. causes that? Um, a lot of stress, um, classes, um, a lot of traumatic experiences. Um, See, this is supposed usually, to be funny and usually, uplifting, but this is like making tears, me depressed. My night tears are usually of the first time I was on this show. <laughs> Not only that, I also got him food and also water. And yeah, I did all that. Very devoted person. Okay, wait, let's, let's think about this for a second. Now, um, if your friend just vomits and you have to clean it up, why in the world would you get him more food? I've never seen it myself, so I guess <laughs> it it's only kind of played. Out of proportion. I mean, it only played like 4,000 times. 4,000? You're not helping with the night terrors at all. I threw up and I took a shit within like five minutes of each other. It was really awkward. I like when you said chat better. Chat, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I threw up. Past like, tense. Yeah, I chat and I threw up around the same time. It wasn't very pleasant. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I know this isn't very attractive for a girl to be talking about, but that is like the absolute worst. Yeah. When it's coming out both ends. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kind of sad this is the last one. I Me watched too. it all the time. I was... Uh, Hers a religious campus confessional swatcher. There's something to confess. <laughs> I almost cried actually. I was in so much pain. You were in there for how long? Like almost. A, I felt like forever. I can't really tell time when I'm intoxicated. So did you learn your lesson, or did you go out and drink like the next day again? You know, I didn't drink for months after that actually. Really? Yeah. In fact, I've only drank once since then. So. Well, you just have to learn your like limits you know you, yeah. you know what I mean just don't drink that much again uh, you know. there's a lady like mopping underneath Eric's feet right now <laughs> that wasn't me was it <laughs> Ann and I took this class and we're not going to name what it was but our professor really blew and it was three hours of hell every single week so what did we do every week we sat in the back and we did the robot.
All right, so this is how it works. You tell me something embarrassing, and it goes over the air, too. <laughs> the best part? Something is embarrassing? It's my show. <laughs> <laughs> I am, okay. I am the most boring guy you will ever meet. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? I, to be perfectly honest with you, you don't believe me. No, I don't. Okay, let's go with that. No. You're on the radio. You can't be boring. If you're are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, I have heard some pretty bad people on the radio, but you guys aren't one of them. <laughs> and people in our class are just looking at us, though. <laughs> and they were dancing, too. Oh, yeah. There's there a lot of uh, oddball stuff going on in that class. I mean, it was that boring that we actually were doing the robot. Literally. It was horrible. Exactly like that. I have to say that my any story that is embarrassing about me would have to be relatively disappointing for your TV program. Well, so say it anyway. I though. haven't even I haven't even been drunk in college. What? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> See there. Maybe that's maybe that's embarrassing. And there she was on the computer talking, 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 talking while we were. Being <laughs> in the class the entire uh, the the entire semester, and I'm next to this girl, and she's real cute. Um. And, you know, she seems funny and smart and, and real quick. We were laughing, like, really loud, too. Like, we would she crack deaf, up. I do believe. I mean, we were in, like, the front row, too. And she never said anything. We always took the front row seats because we were the suck-up students. Whatever. I sure wasn't. <laughs> One night, my girlfriend and I decided to split up. Um, <laughs> it's funny that I say my girlfriend and I decided to split up because uh, it's not exactly how it happened. Um, Did she dump you? Yeah. Oh, well, at least you yes. had that other prospect in your class. Yeah, we're just going to open up the whole box of, box of painful worms, aren't we? We got so frustrated because we kept getting bad grades on our videos. Undeservedly. We, oh, yeah. We actually blew up a video. Boom. All right, you know, fine. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work through the rest of the semester. I'm going to get by. I'm going to come out on top. And, uh, you know, maybe, just maybe, I'm going to ask this girl out. So a couple weeks go by, and they keep going, and they keep going. Finally, I come into class, and I'm like, all right, today's the day. going to get on the horse, going to ask the girl out. I guess that's just something you have to deal with in college, like having a bad class. Mm -hmm. I guess everybody has a bad class. Or two. What was your other bad class? I had a lot of bad classes. <laughs> Any more weird professors? Not at this campus, amazingly. You guys are lucky. This is actually a decent campus as they go. Girl? I'm not using a real name, by the way. Really? I would have never guessed that. <laughs> Girl, you and I, ought to, we ought to go get a drink sometime. And she said, I'd love that. And I said, wow, it's that easy. It's that easy. You, just have to, you just have to ask, you know? You just have to man up and ask. And she says, I'll let you know when the next party is. No names. I'll believe it later. <laughs> I have the power to believe. <laughs> yes. You can say it too. And I said, now that's that's weird. Why why would you need to wait for a party to go have a beer? We could just go to we could just go to the bar. <laughs> and she Silly said, you. She said, I was born in September of nineteen eighty eight. Which would make her at the time seventeen years old. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I said, girl. It was very nice to meet you. Uh, I'll see you in class. And that was it. Well, there you have it, guys, our very last episode. I want to thank everybody for watching for the last couple of years. I've really enjoyed listening to all your stories, and I hope you enjoyed it, too. For Campus Confessionals, I'm Antonia. be funny and uplifting, but this is like making me depressed. My night tears are usually of the first time I was on the show. Set. Your mouth's all clean. You don't have anything in your teeth. It's all good. <laughs>